So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're doing extremely well. And this is the very mass code at this side. So today's question is count the elements. And let us look what is the question saying. So the question says that you have provided with the input n. You have got n. You have got array a. You have got array b. And you have got queries. You have got queries 0, 1. We will see what is going right. So in this case, our n is 3. Our array is 4, 1, 2. This is our array a. Our second input is 1, 7, 3. And our array is array b. The question says, suppose we have got our query 0. We have got our query 0. Now the question says, what is a of 0? So I will say a of 0 is 4, right? If we go by 0 based indexing, a of 0 is 4. Now the question says, return me the number of elements in B which are less than equals to A of 0. Which are less than equals to A of 0. So how many elements are less than equals to 4? So 1 is less than equals to 4, 3 is less than equals to 4. So my answer will be 4. Similarly for the query, second query that is index 1. So A of 1 is 1, right? So less than equals to 1. So only 1 is less than equals to 1. So my answer will be 1. And I have to return the vector of these values, right? So my answer will be 4, 1. So I hope you have understood what is the question saying, what is the question demanding from your side, right? And let us quickly move to the, uh, what, uh, let us quickly move to the approaches. So the approach is actually very clear. So this is the brute force approach first. The brute force approach says the same algorithm we used here. What? Take the query. Take the query. Right, let us say the query says Q. Second, take the element. What is the element? It is be A of Q. Right, and third, traverse B while counting. Traverse B while counting. That means, like we were saying, one is greater than three, one is less than equals to one, and three is less than equal to and four. One is less than equal to four, and three less than equal to four. Similarly, traverse the B while counting, and then append your answer, append your count to answer vector. Right? So, what I'm saying is, my approach is something like, right? So, for uh, auto it. In query, what I will do, my, my, my element will become A of it, my count will become 0, and then for auto it in B, if it is less than equals to ELE, count plus plus, right? And when this inner loop ends, answer dot append count that is pushback count and then this will be my approach right this is the correct approach this is the correct approach you can also visualize that what is the time complexity auto it query so it is running q number of times if q are the number of elements in the query array and for auto it in b and inside it it is running n times n is the size of array b so what is my it will be nq right it will be nq can i optimize the solution to get a minimum time complexity to get a less time complexity yes let us look let us quickly look at that. So optimize approach. Right. So my array A is 1. If I see it is 4, 1, 2 and 1, 7, 3. Right. So 4, 1, 2 and my B is 1, 7, 3. I say what is the maximum among all these six elements. You will say 7 is the maximum among all these six, six elements. Right. So I say construct an array of this size. That is the maximum index should be this. So if I want the maximum index to be 7, what is my size of the array? It will be 7 plus 1, that is 8. So if I construct an array of size 8, right, size 8, this is index 0, this is index 1, index 2, index 3, index 4, index 5, index 6, index 7. And let us, let me rub the, like suppose this is not there, right? This is not there. This is something I don't want. Right. This is these are my indexes of size a, uh, of or in an array of size eight. Right. Now I traverse the b and I, I traverse the b. So first, what did I do? I made an uh, vector array. Let us name this as a array. Let us name it as array of size maximum element plus one 
and initialize initialize all of them by zero. This is my first approach. Initialize all of them by zero, 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 zero. Right. Second step is traverse B and B of I and actually ARR of B of I plus plus. That is keep a count. Keep a count in this array of the elements of B. So one, it will change it to one, seven, it will change it to seven, and three, it will change it to three. Right. So my array is 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, right? No problem up till now. Now, what did I require? I required less than equals to A of I, right? Less than equals to A of I. How can I change that? How can I change that? So if you see for 1, how many elements are less than equals to 1? It is, I'm saying that elements less than equals to 1 is equals to elements equals to 1 plus elements equals to 0 and similarly elements less than equals to 3 let us say 3 so what is that condition that is elements less than 2 plus elements equals to 3 and this can be further solved to elements less than equals to 1 and elements 2. That is, I am saying that I can change this array to ARRI becomes ARRI minus 1 and this will be plus equals to ARRI becomes ARRI minus 1 plus ARRI, right? So, after this operation, my array will convert to my array, I will give me elements less than equals to ARR elements less than equals to I this will be my condition after this third step and that is what I require right that is what I require so instead of traversing the whole B for each query I will just use this pre-processed array I will just use pre-processed array so what is my approach let me write the, write the pseudocode down right so first I can I have found out, found out the maximum of, among all this so I will say my max C is currently 0 and then for i from 0 to n minus 1, maxi becomes max of already existing maxi and max of ai and bi. After this loop, I will get my maxi as the maximum element among a and b. After that, I will make a vector as let us say count only or let us say arr. So, vector and arr, its size will be maxi plus 1. And all of the all of the elements are zero. Then I will traverse B. So for auto it B ARR of it plus plus. That is this array is keeping the count of the elements of B. And then this last step, and I will get my uh, pre-processed arrays. That is for int i going from one, not from zero, from one, because that nothing is less than zero, right? I equal to one. I less than equals to max C i plus plus and then i will do arri plus equals to arr i minus one right so i've got my pre-process array after that i will can make a vector of int answer to store the answers right and then for auto it in queries i will traverse the queries and i will just answer append the answer so answer dot append now what do I have to append? I have to append the arrays a, a of it element, a of it element, right? A of it element because the element has to be chosen from the array A, right? And after this ends, return answer, return answer. So what is the time complexity here? What is the time complexity? This is taking n steps. Again, this is taking n steps. This is taking n, this is taking, not taking n steps, but virtually n or maybe greater than n also. And this is taking Q steps. So actually it is O of N plus Q somewhere. Now, what is the space complexity? What is the space complexity? Uh, in the constraints of this question, it is mentioned that max C can be 10 to the power 5 maximum, right? So this can be a maximum space that can be taken, right? This can be the maximum space that can be taken. It cannot be expressed in terms of N. It can be exp expressed in terms of the maximum element among A and B, right? So this is an optimized approach because we are decreasing the time complexity. Okay, so let us go now and code it down. All 
all right so here we are let us just quickly code it down and the answer will become like so first i will create a vector of int no first i will find the maximum element right so in max c equals to zero and then for int i going from zero i less than n i plus plus max c becomes max of max c and max of a of i with b of i and then we convert a preprocessed array with size max c plus one and all of elements are zero then for int i going from zero i less than equal i less than n i plus plus this is firstly our array is converted to the count array so arri of bi plus plus and then for int i equals to one i less than equals to maxi i plus plus arr of i plus equals to arr of i minus one and now time for making the answer array so vector int answer right now for auto it in the array query answer dot push back a of array of a of it right and at last return your answer let us try to compile and run it it would work i guess most probably in the meantime if you're new here do not forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video and your support means a lot to me also connect with me on linkedin instagram and many other social platforms mentioned in the description So as you can see, it is compiling to be right and let us try to submit it real fast. Okay, so done. And here is a streak of 122 days. Thank you guys for watching my video. We will meet tomorrow in the new video. Thank you. Have a nice day.